Yeah, a medal, it's pretty crazy. I'll go get it actually, I'll, uh, I'll go get it. <sighs> yeah. That's awesome. Pretty cool, isn't it? So uh, yeah, it's just a awesome weekend. Like, yeah, I had a solid warm up and did all the right things and I actually quite enjoyed the course. I didn't think it would suit me, to be honest. Um, it's, it was like totally flat, a few bridges and like 50 corners. So per lap, which was like seven minutes, it was like 50 sprints out of every corner. So it was a super hard course to ride fast. Like you really had to push full gas all the time. Um, but yeah, yeah, I had a good warm up. My start wasn't the best. I was front row, which is awesome. And I didn't have the best of starts, to be honest. Um, and then Rui uh, hit the barrier on like the second turn. So I kind of got a little bit caught up in that, but nothing too bad. I think I was still top 10, to be honest, over the barriers. And then, um, yeah, it was just, yeah, absolutely flat out from the first lap. I was kind of on the back of that group of maybe six, seven riders with the Spanish guy leading. and. Yeah, just at that point, yeah, it felt really hard, like I was on my limit, but as that was happening and as a few laps kind of went by, a few guys started dropping off the pace and I, I was still there. Uh, I think just as I got more in contact with that group, Ryan Camp and Pim Ronar kind of pushed on at the front. Um, those guys are so good through the sand sections, like you can see it on the TV, like yeah, they're all just super fast runners and that transition from running to riding as well, they're super, super good at because they've done it for a long time. And that's kind of what I struggled with at the first part. By the end of the race, I'd really kind of picked up in that, but yeah, I, that was probably the hardest part for me was the sand and then the sections after the sand, I was just absolutely blowing. But yeah, so as, as I kind of got into that big group, Ryan Camp was kind of off the front with Pim Ronar and then Pim kind of blew up a little bit and came back. And at that point, I kind of pushed through um, and yeah, I was bridging over to, to Thomas with about two or three to go. And then once I got on Thomas's wheel, I knew like we only had two laps to go. I had to just go full gas because yeah, the type of course really and the type of rider I am, the longer the effort is, the better. Like if it's short, sharp, I, I know I can't really compete with the guys yet, but if I can kind of lengthen out that attack, um, so my attack ended up being like 10 minutes of really fast riding to put Thomas under pressure and yeah at that point I didn't I knew Ryan Camp was just up the road like maybe 15 seconds but my mind wasn't really on on him to be honest it was just trying to trying to shake Thomas really because I'd already found myself in this medal position which was to be honest a big surprise like I didn't I knew I had the the legs but in my own in my own head I was never thinking medal I was just thinking right like I know there's guys that are in contention and I think I am one of them. So yeah, with like two to go, I was just pushing the pace and I was, I knew I had a medal pretty secured. So I, my mindset had to kind of shift to like, right, let's go for the next one. And so as I, uh, as I, I was pushing on and I was trying to put Thomas under pressure because you saw on the course, it's easy to make mistakes, like one mistake and the gap goes, um, it's really tight racing. and. So yeah, I, I tried f as hard as I could to, to put him under pressure and then on the final lap after the sand, um, actually on the final lap uh, with like a quarter of the lap remaining before the stairs, uh, Thomas put an effort in and, and got past me at a really crucial point. And then I let the wheel go slightly. And at that point I was yeah already on my limit and he'd made the decisive move and from that point on it was just such high speeds that it would it would be quite hard to pass so yeah I was I was in contention all the way to the end like it looked close on TV but yeah it's just so hard to close a gap when you're going at like 30 40 k's an hour along along the grass and so yeah I came into the finish straight and there's not much of a straight really to catch up any and and I and I got third so yeah it's uh yeah super it just yeah, it gives me a lot of confidence knowing that I'm up there with these guys and we were only 13 seconds behind Ryan Camp who obviously eased up a bit on the last lap and fair play to him, had an awesome race and was just super consistent but yeah, I'd, I'd like to think that shows really the kind of level I'm at and what I can do on a, on my, on a good day. Yeah, no, the, uh, the medal feels really good and yeah, I've had so many messages and, and stuff which is, is super nice and uh, especially in this crazy season, it, it feels good just to be racing, but 
yeah, I'm I'm here to 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 win medals and to be at the front of bike races. So it feels it feels good after all the hard work in the summer and hard work by the team and my coach and and everything. So yeah, it's it's been a good been a good few days, but the the focus is now on the next thing. So yeah, into the next busy block of racing and yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing seeing what the legs do now. So yeah, just massive thank you to everyone who's supported me because yeah it's I feel like I've got a lot of people in my corner and it when I kind of achieve things like this it, it makes it extra special that I can share it with with hundreds of people so it, yeah it feels really good and uh, yeah thanks everyone for watching at, at home cool that's pretty much all I wanted to do